what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel as you guys saw in thumbnail and title we got some new animals it is the season we're growing the channel we're growing the farm out here more animals are coming we're gonna check them out in a second but first i wipe myself off there's the chicken right there look at that sun wow purples and blues that's crazy anywho uh, it was a really cold last night, night last night here in Arizona. It was like freezing temperatures. Um, and I barricaded the sulcatas in. When it came out this morning, it was like, it was pretty cold. Luckily it wasn't freezing temperatures. It was still mid, uh, mid fifties to mid sixties in their heated shelter. So it definitely took off the edge hundred percent, but I like to keep it like at least 70 plus. Um, so I just got done crawling around in their piles of tortoise crap. And one of their CHE, their ceramic heat emitters, was unplugged. They stuck their little claw up there and unplugged it. And then I just set up the, um, just set up the heat pad. But anywho, guys, gotta keep these tortoises warm for winter. One of the biggest challenges with sulcatas in cooler climates. Well, Arizona's pretty warm, but pretty much anywhere other than Florida, you gotta keep them warm in the winter time. But uh, let's go check a quick sneak peek on those animals. All right, guys. So we got the new animals. I already opened them up because uh, I filmed a YouTube short of me opening them. So if you're not watching my shorts, you better get on that game. Look at these. I'm going to pick one up for you. Tiny little baby box turtles. They're actually some sort of hybrid. Um, they've got the, uh, they got four toes on the back. So the person who sent them to me wasn't sure um, on who the parents were. They just found three baby turtles running around. An enclosure where there were four different kinds of box turtles. So uh, these little guys, I'm going to go ahead and get them set up tomorrow. We'll see you guys then. All righty, guys. It is the next day. It's actually about noon right now. Um, as you can tell, we got something set up there. It's for the baby box turtles. Um, they slept in the bathroom in a tub last night. Um, gave them a good soak and then just let them hang out there. Um, all right, here they are. I had them out in the sun. Trying to get them warmed up a little bit. Um, they look like they might be a little skinny on the skinny side. So we're gonna go ahead and um, later today I'm gonna offer them a feeding. I'm probably gonna get some aquatic turtle pellets and soak them in some water, offer them that. And then I'm also um, going to go get some earthworms. So we're gonna try and feed them later today. Um, but right now I'm gonna go show them to their new home. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We hit that thousand subscriber mark already. So pretty excited about that. Appreciate y'all. I'm gonna leave the door open because I have terrible lighting in here. Um, guys, this is the enclosure we got set up. I still gotta get the lighting and everything set up. Um, we're gonna put this actually up here. Sorry you guys are getting the glory shots of me. Um, baby water trolls are doing good. Just topped off their water. They are all hiding under the rocks right now, but they're doing great. Um, these box turtles are just so freaking cool. Hey yo, they're gorgeous. They got a huge enclosure. Honestly, I feel like I'm probably going to lose them because they're going to just bury themselves in. This is like a mix of Coca Cola, Reptobark, and it is like two or three inches thick. But this is exactly what they're going to want and need. Um, tonight, I'm probably, or I guess this afternoon, when I go to offer them a feeding, um, I'm gonna have to dig around and try and find them. I buried this log in, I don't know if you guys can see it. I buried it in on the back side and the back half of it's kind of filled. So um, they're probably going to bury themselves in. Let's look. See, there they are down in there. They're gonna go into the back and probably bury themselves in. That is totally cool, totally okay. Um, I got this dish here, it's gonna be their water dish. So they've got a nice deep space to soak in the water if they want but um yeah they're all set up i'm gonna get some uh, uvb set up i've got a bulb there but i also have a bar light as well so i'm gonna go ahead and get all that stuff set up um i have the mesh lid which i love for this cage got the mesh lid which is super nice because you can just set your lighting right on top of it um these guys being box turtles they don't need significant amounts of heat um they need to stay warm obviously but they don't need super super significant amounts of heat so i think a heat lamp on these guys will keep nice and toasty and i think they're gonna be really really happy in here 
I'm absolutely stoked to have these baby box turtles. Also, by the way, this freezer turned out it didn't work, but incubator number two. So we're gonna be building two incubators. When we build them, I paid 20 bucks for it. It was a roll of the dice if it worked or not. Now it's just gonna be a uh, rack system for some uh, eggies. So that's gonna be fine for me. But I'm so excited about these baby box turtles. We're gonna have a lot of cool content to make here. And I know they're gonna absolutely enjoy this enclosure. This is the old stand I made from a pallet at my old house. If you guys remember back in the old room where we had the baby albino sulcatas and pet Um But I just repurposed it here. I've got some really cool black shelving I picked up from a client that actually was getting rid of it. Um, I plan on setting that up along this back wall. I'm gonna have to probably move the desk this way, but I kind of want to set the shelving up to about countertop height along that back wall. And so we can have some storage below and then have enclosures above, whatever it ends up working out to be. There's the chicken. She's wondering what's going on. Last time I let you in here, you took a dump inside. So you're not allowed in here, bud. But anyway, guys, we're gonna get some food, get some stuff set up, try and offer these guys a feeding. I'm gonna get the light set up so they can kind of warm up. Um, and then we're gonna give these guys a feeding and uh, put a wrap on this video. Guys, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, click like. Thanks. Alrighty, guys, it has been a couple days since these guys have been set up. Um, we've got their UVB on, we've got a heater on, so they're staying nice and toasty. As you can tell, I tried to offer them just some random soaked Missouri pellets and some Aquamax and pretty much whatever I could do to get them to try and eat, but they didn't want to. So now we're going to try for some blood worms. I'm going to go ahead and get them out. Um, I also got some night crawlers. We're trying to get these babies to eat. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try the blood worms real quick. I'm gonna put them in uh, this tub here. I need to get a little bit of water in here, so I'm gonna go put a little bit of water in here. And then we're gonna put the blood worms in and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the blood worms in there. And a little bit of water. Now the challenging part is finding the box turtles. These guys are masters of burying themselves in. And so I'm gonna try and do, I hate doing this, but I have to do it pretty much every time. I try to find them, which has been a total of like two times. Got to take that out. Dang. Wish I could film this better so you guys could see. But they bury themselves in pretty good. There's one right there. Buried underneath the soil. And there's a second one. And where's numero trace? What's funny is number three the other day he came over here. So we may just do two for the time being. Maybe what I'm gonna go ahead and do is set these guys in there in the water. Um, and then I am gonna set you guys up and then I'm gonna go ahead and dig around and find the other guy. So we'll go ahead and set these guys in the water, set you guys up, have you guys watch them on a time lapse. Here we are attempting to feed the baby box turtles, some blood worms, and a huge night crawler. Hopefully they show some interest. Alrighty everyone, I don't even know where this video last left off. We were playing with the baby box turtles. It has been probably a week since I filmed that half of the video. Um, turtles are all doing good. You're gonna get a big update video coming soon. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these little guys out. And we'll hold them while we chat for Oh man, awesome. I came back outside to film the outro of this video and I realized that um, I didn't click record. So I just recorded a couple minutes and I uh, was not recording, but um, if you guys could do me a favor, click the like button. We're gonna run back inside and show you those baby box turtles. There's good old Brutus. Got Brutus, we got Scarlet. Tortoises are doing great. Um, it's an ominous day today. It's cloudy. Um, expected to get rain today and then later this week which is always fun. Water's crystal clear, if you guys can watch in my shorts. But um, guys, click the subscribe button. Click the like button if you would, it is free, and it helps out the channel greatly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, head back here inside. We're gonna wrap this up. As you guys saw, we, uh, I just had him pulled out. He was completely buried in under uh, cocoa fiber. But these guys are tiny. Um, I don't, I offered them the earthworms and the, the, the bloodworms, not brine trim, bloodworms. 
Um, they didn't eat them in front of me. It's possible they hit them when I walked away because they do not come out of their shells because <laughs> they're turtles. They don't come out of their shells whenever they're around me, but they're cute little turtles, hybrid box turtles. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to feed them and uh, we'll try and keep them around. There's a small possibility they might not make it. I mean, even the person that I got them from said they were having challenges with them eating too. So um, we're gonna do our best. I was worried about a couple of these, especially this little baby turtle, because it hasn't grown a ton. And it was kind of having some weird issues as a baby. But all five of the water turtles are doing great so far. I've seen all five of them eat and they're killing it. But guys, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. We're gonna have you guys an amazing video wrapping up the new year this Friday. So if you guys could do me a solid, smash that like button. Click subscribe if you haven't done so before. We exceeded our goal of a thousand subscribers this year. I super appreciate it. And I will catch you guys between now and Friday with some shorts and full video on Friday. You guys have a great one and have a great time preparing yourself for the new year.